Hello everyone and welcome to this episode here on NRV Outdoors. Today we're here at the creek to do a little bit of fishing and as you can see we've got our fly rod. If you was with us during our last video you probably noticed that there was a lot of fish jumping in this in particular hole and what I noticed during that time was that there was a bit of a mayfly hatch going on and that these fish were feeding on mayflies along the surface. So I thought it'd be really fun to break out one of the best baits to match the hatch in this situation and show you guys a little bit about the olive woolly bugger. As you can see here, it's just an olive green woolly bugger, a solid black tail to match those mayflies. Very basic, very simple, and extremely effective for matching the hatch whenever you've got these conditions. So without any further ado guys, let's get this little bait in here and let's get started. Got him on. Who fighter? Ooh, angry fish. He took the olive green woolly bugger. Ooh, See if we can get down here and slide him right on into the net. Yep, heck yeah. Gorgeous, gorgeous big rainbow on the fly rod there. No complaints with that fish. Got him unhooked there. Gorgeous fish on the fly rod there. An absolute gorgeous little rainbow. Let's go ahead and slide down here. Just let him take right on up. Heck yeah, guys. Nothing like fighting one of them big fish on a small little fly rod. Heck yeah. Got him on another one on the woolly bugger he absolutely smoked it oh fighter fish is fighting hard not a super big one but a really nice fish nonetheless oh yeah Got that one in the net. Gorgeous rainbow trout here. There we go. Hooked myself just a little bit there. Another gorgeous fish there. Absolutely gorgeous. All right, let's just let him take right on off here. There he goes. Heck yeah, guys. Ooh, we smoked it. Got him. A little bit of light strip in there. And this one come up and smoked it. Oh, get out of there. Just 
slide on down here. We'll swing this big, beautiful rainbow right into the net. There we go. Oh, fighter. Still fighting good in the net. Oh, looks like he kicked the fly off right there. I mean, another gorgeous, big rainbow. Absolutely smoked that olive woolly bugger. One of the best flies out there, in my opinion. Especially when you've got a hatch going on. It's hard to beat. Let's let this one go. All right, guys, let's do that again. That is just too much fun. Too much fun. Allow that thing to sink for just a second. And I'm just going to start giving it some slight twitches back. Some short, short strips here. Got him on. Oh, gosh, back-to-back -back cast. Oh, he kicked it. Oh, I had too much slack out and he kicked it right there. Oh, that's okay though. Another gorgeous fish. We won't make that mistake again. We'll short line the next one. Let it sink for a second. And just some slight twitches back. Got him on. Heck yeah, guys. This fish is fighting. Looks like a bird has given this guy a whack across the back of the head most likely a blue herring by the look of the bite probably not that long ago either this fish here has certainly seen better days that's for sure all right guys let's let this little guy go he's got a gash on his head he has been bitten by something quite quite fiercely but nonetheless they're still taking that olive woolly bugger Let's keep giving it to him. Got him on. Oh, fighter. Oh, that fish is fighting hard. See if we can swing this big girl right on into the net here oh yeah oh gosh another beautiful beautiful rainbow trout here absolutely smoked that fly calm down girl we're gonna get you off calm down got all the fight in the world left in her there we go Got her unbuttoned, an absolute gorgeous fish there. Let's just let her swim right on out of the net. Heck yeah, guys. Another one on that old olive woolly bugger. Got him on. Ho oh, ho. 
fighter. Nothing like fighting these big fish on these little light five and six weight fly rods. Angry fish. Yes, he is. Got that one in the net. Heck yeah. I mean, a gorgeous fish right there. Plenty of fight left in this one. All right. Got him unpinned. Gorgeous little fish. Let's just let him take off right here. There he goes. Heck yeah, guys. Another fish. On that wooly bugger. I'm telling you, when you get the opportunity to match the hatch and you've got fish that you think you can get to come to the surface, I highly recommend you do so. It's so much fun. Got him on. Another gorgeous fish right here. Absolutely smoking the fly today. Oh. We can get her turned into the net. There we go. Heck yeah. Oh, popped him off in the net. Absolute gorgeous rainbow trout there. Another one fell victim to that old olive woolly bugger. Let's just let this one take right off right here. There she goes. Heck yeah, guys. tree over there they're tightening up that drag just a little bit mm, nice fish Super nice fish there. It's an old big girl. She was laying right underneath that tree in the shade, waiting on an old bug to come by. That mayfly pattern tricked her. She had no idea that that was an olive woolly bugger. Let's let her go. Heck yeah, guys. Heck yeah. Well, guys, that's pretty much going to do it for today's video. As you can see, the sun's up pretty high and the fish have quit hitting the surface. That pretty much means that the hatch has slowed down and won't pick back up until later this afternoon around dark. I had an absolute blast out here targeting these fish with that little olive woolly bugger. They were absolutely destroying it. And I've gotta say, when it comes to matching the hatch and trying to replicate mayflies, that little bait there is hard to beat. 
I didn't expect to come out here and catch them on the fly so well, but anytime that you come to the creek and you see them bubbling along the surface and coming up, it's definitely time to break out that little finesse fly and give it a toss. And I would like to say, you can definitely use these flies on a spinning reel. All you need is a float to help you cast it and you're good to go. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what your favorite bait is to target fish when they're coming up to the surface and feeding like that. And if you can, guys, get out and do some fishing and have some fun. And until next time, be safe and tight lines.